the giving back is an incredibly awesome feeling. With the arrival of Halloween this past Friday, the sound of power tools rang loud and clear inside an Appleton garage. It's there each year a Fox Valley family proves that jack-o'-lanterns can make a difference in someone's life. Halloween may be over, but Fox 11's Emily Deem shows us how some festive decorations continue to give back to man's best friend. For Kevin Raddus, pumpkin carving is a big deal. One little mistake, whatever word you're trying to do is going to turn out pretty lousy. It's been a tradition in this family for years. I would carve pumpkins over at our house and take them over to Grandma's for a big birthday party after trick-or-treating, and it's really evolved from there. But he wanted to do more than just carve pumpkins. <laughs> This is all the little dots, and now you have to take out all of those little pieces. He wanted to give back. During Halloween, Kevin takes over his parents' front yard. They are very kind to not only put up with it, help with it, and then also put the light bill. <laughs> it's all to create the Raddus family pumpkin carving display. Rain is definitely one thing that we can't have, so cold weather's okay. The display features nearly 30 pumpkins and thousands of lights. A lot of orange and reds, but then over here we also can use greens. The theme? A night at the movies. We did a lot of Frozen, Elsa and Anna. We do Ghostbusters this year. Clark Griswold from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. We're gonna have him out. Even Grumpy Cat which is fitting to have an animal pumpkin carving since all of the donations collected benefit the Fox Valley Humane Association. We see, oh, about 5,000 animals coming through our doors looking for new homes. Fox Valley Humane Association is a full-service humane association providing training, um, all different types of veterinary opportunities to family, low-income families, as well as placement for all the homeless pets in the valley. Deb Lewis says they see about 10,000 animals coming in each year that are in need of services. Our, this is our what we call our exotic room, and we see a lot of animals uh, that are not dogs and cats. We Lewis see. says they wouldn't be able to survive without the help of the community. Donations are what keeps the doors of the shelter open. We don't get any money from uh, any governmental source, from state funding, or any of the national organizations. We raise our entire budget every year. At the entrance to our display, we just put our little plastic pumpkin bucket out and we have a big sign saying what it goes to. So everyone knows that 100% of what gets donated is going to go to a very worthy organization. With each drill, cut, and the endless number of hand cramps. Eat your bananas, hydrate, you know, and that's for the strenuous activity of carving pumpkins. Kevin hopes these pumpkins will continue to make a difference not only for the community, but his own family. We have a six-year-old and a two-year-old, so the six-year-old, it's great to start to tell her that, yes, it is hard work to do all the pumpkins, but not only does everybody like to see them when they're done, it also helps the community, so it's good to instill that in them as well. In Appleton, Emily Deem, Fox 11 News. That pumpkin, pumpkin display wrapped up this evening. Radish says about 2,000 people check out the display each year. Now, we have a photo gallery, if you missed it, on our website. And many of the pumpkins in that display just head to fox11online.com to see the photos.